You've got three types of teeth. You've got choppers at the front, which are very sharp and literally chop the food into pieces. If you've got food like meat, which is extremely tough, it has to be torn. So you have eye teeth here, which will tear the food. You've only got to watch a cat eating its food. But once we've chopped or torn the, tea, the meat up, we have to grind it. We have to grind it on the back teeth here, which we call grinders or molars, and mix it with the saliva so that it can then go on down to be digested. The action of the jaws is part of the process too. Up and down to crunch, sideways to grind. Even the soft cheeks and tongue help by moving food towards the teeth. The whole process is called mastication. But food must be moistened as well. And beneath the tongue and at the sides and back of the mouth are the glands which produce saliva to lubricate the process of mastication. Just the thought of food will sometimes get them working. If you didn't have any spit and you put the food into your mouth, it would stick everywhere and you wouldn't be able to move it around. So the saliva is literally a lubricant, a fluid, which mixes with the food, makes it soft and then enables it to move on down. It also has another function in that there's special chemicals in the saliva which help to start to digest the food as well. The chemical is an enzyme called amylase and it starts the process of breaking down starch into a sugar called maltose. Teeth, jaws and saliva shape the food into a ball, a bolus, which we swallow with a gulp. But after that we do not control the movement of the food. The muscles of the stomach and intestines take over. The gullet is a tube with rings of muscles which can contract or expand and as they do that, they will push the food down the gullet, like a conveyor belt taking it down into the stomach. The muscle action is called peristalsis. That's it there. And it controls the movement of food throughout the body. Here you can see what it looks like as food approaches the opening to the stomach. 